Yo, what is up this game? <laughs> So for this video, we're going to be making some quarantine ice cream. Uh, so basically for quarantine ice cream, you're just going to need some simple materials that you may have at home. Like some two Ziploc bags or any like bags that like zip or that fully close. Some ice, some salt, pure vanilla-ish extract or just pure vanilla. Make sure it's pure vanilla because you don't want to get vanilla and water. Or it might just be better if it's just pure vanilla. Some sugar, white or brown, doesn't matter. I'm not trying to be racist. Um, you need um, half and half, but we don't have half and half, so I'm gonna just put 1% low fat milk and some heavy whipping cream. I don't know if that's gonna help, but whatever, it's an experiment, so we could always experiment here. Um, all this right here is not mandatory, or you're not gonna need it, but I just figured, like, why not? So we got some bananas, some Hershey's uh, syrup, and then we got these things. You know, everybody likes them, so. I figured why not, you know? Let's just, mm. I bet. Let's just get started. First things first, let's start with um, big or small, big or small, small. All right, so first we're gonna wanna put, um, so basically it's one cup of half and half, but since we don't have it, we're gonna be using some low fat milk, like I said. So we're gonna put, Always make sure it's not expired. I just do that by smelling it, so. Cause I don't trust the days. Sometimes it'd be saying that it expires like in, I don't know, the seventh, and then it's like the third or whatever, and it smells bad, so I'm just, I don't wanna drink that, you know? And then we're gonna put some of this. I filled it up like, maybe like 60% of the way. Ah, uh, it smells like whatever. So we're gonna add this. So we're gonna just put this in the bag. Secure the bag, don't let it drop. Don't make a mess though, I swear. You know, I'd rather not, like, not make a mess and not have to pick it up, than make a mess and have to pick it up. But anyways, we got that, right? So now we got that. We don't need that no more, so get that out of here. Um, And then we're gonna need some, we're gonna, we're gonna need half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So we have some right here. This is half a teaspoon right here, the small one. This one is half a teaspoon, so we're just gonna have to fill that up real quick. Ooh. There you go, half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna need one teaspoon, or actually two teaspoons of sugar. You know? You know what? I don't know why I was doing that. I should probably just open the whole damn thing. All right, let's go. Don't be shy, it's okay if it overflows. Or Maybe it's not okay like in the future, but it's all right now. So now we got the sugar in. And I think that's it. Oh, actually, no, you know what? For my experiment, mine is different. You know, and it's good being different. So, oh shit. Excuse my language, but I just made a mistake. I made a mess. That's all right, guys. It's okay to make mist mistakes. You learn from them. So basically, we're just gonna get a banana I think we're gonna need like half, so we're just gonna like, you know, half. We're gonna go half and then just open that up. And then for this one, we're just gonna like squish the banana with the spoon. Just go like that, right? It may look kind of nasty or something, but honestly, dude, or guys, girls, gals, whatever you guys wanna be called, it's all right, guys. Don't be scared of just squish banana. It tastes pretty good. It's the same thing as just regular banana, so don't judge it. We're not here to judge. But yeah, so we're just gonna squish it down until it's like like baby food basically, you know? Like really squishy. I don't know about you guys, but I love baby food. Especially like the the ones that come like in the, the little puffs are just so good. But yeah, that's a little bit about me. Um but yeah, you see it's getting more like I guess softer or whatever, I don't know. It's not like a stick no more, like a banana. You know, like compare this to this. You know, it just makes sense. Uh, so then we're just gonna have to put this, or I'm thinking, cause I'm kind of smart. Well, not really, but I like to think that. Um, so basically I was thinking we could put some of this in here to make it taste kind of good. You know, I've experimented before with some food. And actually came out pretty good, so I don't 
I don't think it's gonna come out bad. And if it does, it's all right. At least we know. So after we got that done, I'm thinking we could probably put, and actually, just put some of this a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a little bit. All right, so now that we have enough in there, I guess we could just mix it all in by, oh wait, make sure you take as much air out as you can. Or you could also just use one of like the professional tools. This is on my Costco too, so why not? You know, Costco has some good deals. So we're just gonna shake it. This is gonna be the ice cream. All right, put that aside. Get a bigger bag. This is the one gallon, I think. All right. So open this up, get some ice. So this one was just fresh. Like we just popped it out the fridge. So I forgot something actually. I'll be back. You guys stay there. All right, I'm back. So basically for those of you guys that like working now and like your protein, I got you guys. Check me out. I have some a protein shake, you know, right here, 30 grams of protein, all that good stuff. We're just gonna shake it up real quick. We're gonna open it. And we're just gonna pour it in here, you know, just to give it, make it a healthy ice cream, you know, one with a lot of good protein. I don't know if this is gonna be good, guys, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. It's gonna be healthy and it's gonna be fun to make too. So we'll just put that in there. Just try to get that air tight and just shake it again. Make sure it's tight, guys. You guys don't want to shake it and then, like, falls all over the place. We're just going to shake it. Uh, that's good. Now, with this big bag, you have to crush the ice. And if you want to do it the Mexican way, just slap it on the ground. After the ice, you're going to want to get some salt. I chose to get this salt. I don't know why. We have, like, garlic salt, but I don't think that's going to work. So, we're going to put some... I don't know how much you're supposed to put, so... I guess the more the better, right? That's what they all say. The more the better. So we're gonna come up. You know why? The more the better, that's why. Right. Now that we got that, I'm gonna put this boy in here. Make sure it's tight. You don't wanna be spilling all over the place. You wanna get some salty ice cream, or maybe you do, I don't know. Your preference, but I don't want salty ice cream, so I'm not gonna make it for this video. But, God damn, dude, this thing does not wanna, you need to make sure you get the air out of this one too. I kind of forgot about that. You're going to need some gloves and a towel so your hands don't freeze. You know? But, you know what? We don't need all that. We'll survive. Damn. Alright, so now we're just going to shake it. But you know what? I don't want to do all that. So let me give you guys a life hack. What you want to do? Throw this in the washer. Believe me, it's just, just put it in the washer with no water, you know, just a cycle that just rinses and you're good. Trust me, you don't have to be doing this for five minutes or whatever. Put it in the washer. Back from the washer, and look, I got like a little rag. Well, actually, I used it to clean up the table, but I'm gonna just put this on here because it's in a bag, so it's not gonna be nasty, I guess. So right now, we're gonna decorate it and taste it too. So it feels pretty hard, but I don't like my ice cream that hard. I like it kind of like soft. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna put one of these right just oh actually i'm doing it wrong but i already touched it whatever you guys touch you guys have to eat remember that that's nasty but anyways i'm gonna eat this so i'm putting my mouth so basically what i'm gonna do right now is teach you guys how to do like something kind of cool i guess you're just gonna do like a little decorating and just put it like around right so this is how you do it just just watch me okay so you're gonna put this at an angle and go like that and just like go like that like in circles right and you just go like that and finish it off See, it's, it's like simple, right? I'm just gonna put that like that. It's kind of short. It's all right though. Sizes don't matter. So, woo! All right, look. So we're just gonna scrape the, or stick this out. Put that in here, you know. You know what, I'm probably gonna put this after because, oh yeah. But anyway, just put the ice cream in here, you know? This reminds me of like, um, a cold frappuccino or whatever, like one of those drinks. 
See, you don't even have to go to Starbucks no more. You can make your own. Damn. You don't need to be waiting in line. You know? Just make your own at home. Especially if you got no money. Like me. Just kidding. Actually, it's just pretty good. But I don't know if I told you guys, but I basically put it in the washer for like a minute or two. Um, um, I didn't want to go after that because I didn't want my ice cream to be like that hard. And the more you shake it, the harder it'll get, like the left soft, softer. So if you like your ice cream hard, just, just shake it longer, you know? Oh look, I got a little banana chunk. Anyways, so yeah, we're just gonna be putting this in here. I eat a lot, so I want a lot. So we're gonna be putting more and more and more, but it's all right. You know what, you guys are probably getting bored, so I'm gonna speed the process. And now we could just decorate it a little bit, you know? With some more chocolate, you know, it doesn't hurt. Put some more chocolate like that. You can put it in this or whatever you want. But look, here you have it. It's a homemade ice cream. Doesn't look that bad, right? Let me show you guys. See how that looks. So you know what? Now, let's clean up the area real quick, you know? You don't want to go to a restaurant and eat when it's dirty, so. Let's clean it up real quick. Move this aside. You know what we could also do? Crush these up and put them on the top. That'd be good. But you know what? This video's taking forever, so we're just going to jump right into it. So we're just gonna give it a quick taste test. Cheers. Yo, this is really good. The banana really adds like, I don't know, a good taste to it. Yup. It's official. Never going to Starbucks again. This is good. Try it out, let me know what you guys think. But till the next one.